Welcome back everyone. So today in this video I will be explaining that how to speed up your Windows 11 with these 11 powerful solutions. Now, the video today is mainly for the people who have the average build PC or laptop or the high-end PC and laptop. But many of you might be having the low-end PC with like 2 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes of RAM. So I would recommend you that kindly go ahead and enjoy the tiny Windows 11 that is the light-weighted version of Windows 11. So, that will be working much smoother on your low-end PC. So, now let's quickly get it started. First what you will have to do, right-click on the Windows icon then, from the suggestion, you have to click on Settings. In the setting from the left menu option, click on Personalization. Then scroll down, you will find the Colors option and here in the color, you will get transparency effect. Now, it's recommended that you should go ahead and disable it if you really want to enhance the performance. Once you are done, from the left-hand menu option only, click on Apps. Then click on Installed Apps. And here it will list you all kind of application installed on your computer. So you need to find the one that you are not using or you don't identify you will have to uninstall from here. So I will just click on the three dots and choose uninstall. Do the same with the other application. These are the bloatware. You can go ahead and uninstall it. Then scroll down. You will also find all your third-party application that you have manually installed. Look for them, whichever you don't need. Just click on the three dot and choose uninstall. Now once you have done from here as well, then from the left-hand menu option, only click on gaming. Here you'll find the game mode option, click on it. Make sure this option has been enabled. Then from the left hand menu option only click on privacy and security. And here we have to disable some windows permission and the app permission. So, first click on general. Disable all these option. Go back. Do the same with the speech inking diagnostic and feedback. Disable all the notifications. Then scroll down to app permission. And here depending on you, if you don't use the location, camera or microphone, so you can go ahead and disable them. Then you need to scroll down. And here you have to disable calendar, phone call, call history, email, task, messages and radios. You have to disable all these option because you don't need it. It only run in the background and slow down your computer performance. And once you are done, from the left hand menu option now, click on system. Then look for a storage and click on it. Now here you'll find the temporary file option and this will be calculating all the space available in the temporary file. Then it will show you the category that what kind of categories are occupying the temporary file. So if you don't need the download, then you have to check it. Check other option, then you'll find the recycle bin. If you don't need the item that has been deleted and move to the recycle bin, then you can check this option as well. Once you are done, click on remove file. And this will be deleting all the junk from your computer and will free up much of a space on your computer. All right, so once you are all done, close it. Next click on your Windows search, type system.cpl. Hit the enter key. Now the system properties will be up. Now here, from the top menu option, click on advanced then, in the performance, you will find the setting option, click on settings, and here this will be selected to let Windows choose what best for my computer. So you will have to go with the third option that says, adjust for best performance. And here we have to enable few of the animation, rest we can keep them disabled. Check the first one, animate controls and element inside windows. Then you'll find, shoot thumbnail instead of icons. Then check smooth edges of a screen font. Then click apply, click on OK, click OK again. And now next we also need to deblow our Windows 10 or 11, so that we can get the maximum performance. Click on your Windows search again, type CMD. Right click on command prompt, click run as admin, the black window will be up. Now, here you have to again paste the command that you'll be getting in the description. Once you have copied, right click on the desktop, hit the enter key. 
This is a deblower. That is from Chris Titus. And it's a very good tool to optimize your Windows 11. So now once you come up here, from the top menu option, you have to click on tweaks. Then here you have to select you're using a desktop or laptop, so depending what you're using select it. And this will automatically check many of the options. So in the essential tweak, it has not checked the delete temporary file. So I will check all of them. You can read them. If you want to avoid any one of them, then you can uncheck it. Then go down and find the advanced tweaks option. So you can read here that what exactly you need. If you want to disable the USC user account control, you can disable it. I want to disable notification trade calendar. Then I want to remove OneDrive. If you want to remove Microsoft Edge, then you can also check this option and rest seems to be okay. So now once you are done, simply click on run tweak. This will be running the tweak now and you will have to wait here until it's all been completed. And once it will be done, then finally you will have to optimize your Chrome browser as well. But in case, if you don't use Chrome, then you can avoid this step. You can leave it. So what you have to do, bring up Google Chrome. In the Google Chrome, click on the three dot at the right and top, then click on settings. In the setting from the left and menu option, you have to click on privacy and security, then click on clear browsing data. Now here from the top select to advanced. In the time range, choose all time. And here you have to uncheck the password and autofill form data. Rest you can check it. Then you have to click on clear data. And once it's been done, again click on the three dot then you have to look for extensions click manage extensions now this will display all kind of extension installed on your chrome browser so whichever you don't use you don't identify simply go ahead and remove it once you are done you will simply have to restart the computer and then you'll find a great change now keep in mind sometime it take about a day or two because the changes are properly applied after few restart so in case if immediately if you don't find the enough changes, then wait for some time like for a day or two. And then surely you'll find the differences. So guys, that's all for today. Please do like, comments and share on this video. And subscribe the channel if you get benefits from this video. Thanks for watching.